Let's see how many times I get interrupted doing this. Howdy, YouTube. I have a baby right here, and he wants my coffee. Yes, it is one o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm on my third cup of coffee because I was up all night with a sick kid, and I'm tired. So I wanted to do a military spouse tag. Um, I don't know, because I saw McKenna Gott did one, and it looked like fun. And I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to do more and I'm trying to put out videos once a week so I thought that this would be kind of a fun getting to know you kind of video so I wrote down all of them because they're on my computer and I can't see my computer from here and I'm down here sitting on the floor with the dogs and the babies and, and the coffee I'm having a really hard time looking at the camera and not myself so, military spouse tag. Number one, how did you and your spouse meet? Um, kind of a very long story, but actually Paul and I, <clears throat> Paul and I have known each other um, our whole lives. Our parents were friends before we were born, and we didn't have contact really. Our, our parents stayed in touch, um, but he, his family moved away from mine, and then in 2000. <laughs> Five, 2004, um, our, we re-met and um, started dating and got married. And here we are today, many, many years later. Um, how old were you when you met? Again, we first met when we were teeny, tiny, itty bitty babies. There's pictures of us taking baths together as babies. There is uh, pictures of his family, of him and my mom pregnant with me. So we have known each other for our entire lives. Um, how long have you been together? We have been dating since 2004, I think. We got married in 2006. Um, where are you originally from? Paul is from, well, he moved around a lot as a kid, but he is, mostly from the East Coast. Most of his life was there. And I am mostly from Arizona. I spent... Where were we? Um, how did you feel about your spouse joining the military? I was not part of that decision. My spouse joined the military far long before we um, got married or started dating. Um, so. I support him though. Um, where did he go to basic training? I went to basic training at um, Paris Island in South Carolina because he's in the Marine Corps. Um, has your spouse ever been deployed? Paul was deployed once or twice before we got married. Ooh. I was deployed once or twice before we got married, and then once since we've been married. <sighs> yeah, baby's trying to pull down the tripod. Who's this? Who's that? <laughs> Do you want a wooden spoon? Waka, waka. Um. Have I been to a promotion ceremony? I have been to all of his promotion ceremonies since we got married, I think. Um, I pinned him at his last one. There is applesauce on my computer. I just noticed this. We had a very messy breakfast. That's not point of the video. Um, how long have I been a military wife? The entire time I've been married. Uh, we got married and he was active and we, so 10 years. This year? Yeah. Um, did I marry him before or after the military? Yeah. Uh, after. How did he propose? He took me to Mount Lemmon in Tucson, Arizona, 
and we went to a romantic lookout point and he proposed to me there. It was very sweet. Where did we get hitched? We got married also in Tucson. Um, that's where I'm from and that's where we got married. Uh, I'll put the, there's a video of our wedding down below, or there's a video of our wedding out there. I'll attach it. I'll link it down below. It's very old. Um, how old was I when I got married? Uh, let's see, I'm 34. I've been married for 10 years, so I was 24. I keep looking at the, there's the camera and then there's like my view thingy and I keep looking at myself. I can't look at the camera. Um, so I was like 23, I think, 24, I don't remember, you do the math. Um, did he wear his uniform? Yes, we had a military wedding with um, sword ceremony and everything. I'll put the link down below. What is our current duty station? We are currently living at Camp Pendleton in Oceanside, California, but we are headed to Okinawa this summer. Do we live on base? Yes, we do. Um, this is the first time, I mean, well, we've lived on base before, but at other, yeah, we live on base. How long were we married before our first separation? Um, we were married a couple months, and he left where we were at, and I stayed behind, and he went to, um, we were married a couple months, and he went to a promotion or a career course thing uh, for three months, um, and then we and then we were together, and then we moved to Okinawa, and then he deployed while we were in Okinawa, um, and so out of the two and a half years that we were there, I spent about nine or ten months of it with him being deployed. What is my favorite base? Um, my favorite base is Okinawa. Um, we were stationed at Camp Courtney before he, he was stationed at Camp Courtney and I loved living there. We had so much fun in Okinawa. My favorite place is Japan. <laughs> I said that, Mom. You did say that. So, so Japan is my favorite place. But Evie hasn't been to Japan yet. Yeah, we haven't since. We have to go with for, for, for on my calendar does. On 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 a week on. Okay, you can't be there, Ow. honey. You can't be there. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you one more time. You can't be there. He's gonna keep pulling your hair. One. Okay, the rest of these questions are kind of dumb, but I'll do the whole thing. Um, number nineteen. Do you think your spouse looks good in uniform? Yes, I do. And if I didn't, then that would be unfortunate. Um, 20. Do you think military life is more advanced than civilian life? Um, I don't quite understand what this means. Like, no. I think that it's a life and it's, you know, my husband goes to work every day and I currently stay home with the kids and there are lots of people that live lives like that. Um, if anything, maybe it's more grounded because my husband has a job that he goes to every day and he is, it's very unlikely that he's going to get fired. Um, he, it, it, it just doesn't work like that. So it's maybe less advanced. I don't know. Um, do I like the benefits? Well. I have free health care. Oh, it's not free. I mean, my husband, but there's money taken out of Paul's check, but I have pretty good benefits. I've never had a problem. I've never, um, I've never disliked the care that I've been given. I do like the benefits. I like the dental. I like my dentist. I like my doctor, too. We've been seen at the care on base, and I like, never had a problem. Do I have military wife friends? I do. Um, I don't have too many wives here at Camp Pendleton, or I don't have too many wives, I'm not a polygamist. I don't have too many, um, I don't have a whole bunch of friends here at Camp Pendleton right now, but I do have lots of friends that are wives that are spread across the globe. Um, 
What is the hardest part of military life? What is the hardest part of military life? Um, probably separation. Like this week, Paul has been gone training all week. He has been, he left Monday at like four o'clock in the morning and it is Friday and he is not due back until late tonight. Um, this isn't super typical. Um, usually, you know, once a month he's gone overnight and every couple of months he's gone for like a couple of days. But um, with kids, it's kind of, kind of a pain in the ass. Um, do I own military wife stuff? Uh, I used to. I used to have all kinds of shirts and, you know, Marine Corps, military wife. Because we just came off, because we came off of recruiting duty, I have, we have a lot of, like, Marine Corps stuff. Um, but when you're on recruiting duty, you're like, gung-ho military, yay, Marine Corps, you want everyone to join, you want to support it. I mean, not that you don't support it otherwise, but it's like, it's a bigger, it's a bigger thing. Um, so we have got a lot of moto stuff, but it's like, it's unisex stuff. It's not like, I don't think, I, I don't think I have anything, maybe a shirt or two. And this is just a really dumb one. Do I suppose... Do I support my spouse as a member of the military? Um, yeah, because if you don't support your spouse in like the job that they do, then maybe you should get another spouse. I mean, it's their job. It's you need to support them regardless. Yeah. My hair is totally fucked up. Even if you don't like what your husband does, um, you need to support them. Even if he doesn't like what he does, it's still important as a wife that you support your husband. Because if you don't support him, that's sad.